Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pawana, Sapaknang. We live in a world that revolves all the time. Things change. Things come and go. Gain comes and then it turns into loss. Status comes and you lose your status. Then you get status back again. Back and forth like this. Praise, criticism, these things go changing back and forth all the time. Pleasure and pain keep revolving around each other. In order to have any sanity, we have to have a still point in the midst of all this revolving. Otherwise, we, our heads start spinning. You get taken by your gains or your people praising you, and you start spinning after whatever they say, and you, you could lose your sense of up and down, right and wrong. It's like a person spinning around, losing all sense of direction. So you need this still spot. This is why we meditate. The world can revolve and can revolve around on its own. You don't have to go joining with her. The cycles as they go around, you can stay in the still point right at the middle. This doesn't mean, that, doesn't mean that the world revolves around you, but just you let it revolve around its own ways. And you stay still, and then you see when gain comes, okay, what uses does it have? When there's loss, what's, what's the use of loss? You learn a lot of things from loss about what's really important in life, what you can really depend on, what you can't. If you lose money, you find out who your friends are. The same with status and loss of status. Praise and criticism. Sometimes praise is bad for you, criticism is good for you. Sometimes it's the praise is good and the criticism is bad. You have to be able to be in a position where you can make those distinctions. And if you just fall for everything that comes your way, everything that you like, you're not going to be able to see the distinctions. The same with pleasure and pain. Some pleasures are good for you, some are not. Some pains you can actually use to your benefit, some pains are just totally worthless. So you have to learn how to sit in a position where you can make these distinctions, see the distinctions, and then act wisely. That's why we have this still point. We try to create this still point in the mind. So we live in the world, we get to use the things of the world, but we don't fall for them. And as a result, our sense of right and wrong, our sense of what's proper and improper, stays solid. After all, with the world, some parts are nighttime right now, some parts are daytime right now. You can't really find anything of permanent value here. Things keep changing all the time. But what doesn't change is what's right and what's wrong, what's skillful and what's not skillful. You have to take that as your axis and let your life revolve around that. And the best place to see that is when you got the mind still. Pull yourself out of all the revolving things. Regain your sense of direction, and then you can make use of all the things that you like and dislike in the world for the benefit of the mind, for the benefit of your mind and other people's minds. That's when you're really above the world and not its slave. 